Lee, so welcome back to my channel. So I have some antlers on, but I'm not really sure you can see them. Just know that I'm festive AF, um, even if they don't fit in the frame, but I'm not really mad about it because I got my festive little flannel, and I'm here to bring you my 2016 Christmas wish list. Um, yeah, it's basically what I'm going to be asking Santa for this year. Obviously, I know that there is a reason for the season, and <laughs> It's not really quite that time of the year yet, but you know what? Let's get a head start, and I'm just going to be giving you some ideas of what I'm asking for for Christmas, and maybe it'll help you see what you want to put on your Christmas list. Ask Santa, ask your parents, ask your boyfriend, ask your friend, you know, whatever. Let's just get on into this video. And I also just want to add that all I want for Christmas is you. So if you want to stick around and subscribe, that would be make me just so happy and make all of my Christmas dreams come true. Okay, so the first thing that I'm asking for for Christmas is super boring, so I figured, like, let's just get it out of the way. I'm asking for an extra battery pack for my camera. Like, you're probably like, that's boring, but for instances like this, uh, my camera was dead, and I wanted to film this video, and now the sun's setting, and I'm super bummed about that. So you know what? I just thought, yes, an extra battery pack is going to be super useful. It's not expensive. Anyone can get it for me. Um, and I guarantee you my brother will because he loves to give boring gifts. <laughs> Number two, this is a great gift idea. It's not super expensive, but it's super meaningful and it's a gift that keeps on giving. It's a Polaroid camera. So I really want the one in mint, but whatever one I would be blessed with, I'd be so happy just because I love just having little pictures. Like I'm just so into printing pictures in general. So like having those little pictures around, I think is just so sweet. And I think it's just such a great gift. So I definitely recommend it asking for that if you don't have one but giving it as well would be just like so awesome but the next thing I'm asking for is the Pandora princess ring and I'm not asking this I'm not asking for this from my boyfriend or anything I'm just want it in general to put on my first finger we have two Pandora rings for my boyfriend one that I wear on my ring finger and the other one is also for my ring finger but I just kind of like wear them on and off but I thought the pointer finger is kind of naked and I think that a Pandora ring would be really cute on it next gift I'm asking for is an Ivory Ella t-shirt I absolutely love these t-shirts I think they're so cute and I love the meaning behind them and I don't know everyone has one I just kind of want one is that basically sick of me. The next thing I'm asking for is actually something that's more on the practical side, but I'm asking for a Keurig or Keurig? Keurig? Yeah. Keurig coffee maker. I have an old-fashioned coffee maker, which is really, really funny because I feel like not a lot of people still have those, but your girl right here still doesn't have a Keurig. I think it would be such a great gift to receive. Um, I can just pop in a pod and just drink my cup of coffee without having to brew. I don't know. It's not that hard to brew a cup of coffee, but I think a Keurig would be super useful. And to go along with that, I would like some K-cups to put inside of it and maybe a cute mug, maybe a festive mug. The next thing I'm asking for, I still feel very basic, I'm asking for Adidas Superstar sneakers and if you don't know what they look like, I'll put a picture right here, but I feel like you do know what they look like because every YouTuber buys them for themselves, but they're like $80, it's just not something I would spend on myself, so yeah, I'm asking for them for Christmas, again, that's another thing I can see my brother getting me, he's, my brother's a grown up, he has like a full time job, so he's he spoils me, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm really super excited um, if I did receive a pair of Adidas shoes or maybe even those like really cute pink ones, but whatever. I just am in the market for a new pair of little flat sneakers. I have so many pairs of Converse and I wear the heck out of them. So I think these would be a great addition to my collection. The next thing I am asking for are gift cards, and I think gift cards are a super great gift for anybody, um, and I don't think that they're impersonal. I know that they have that stigma that if you get someone a gift card, it's kind of like an impersonal gift, but if you really know that someone likes to shop at a certain place, like I think it could be super personal. So for me, let me see, I'm asking for gift cards for Amazon. I am a huge Amazon shopper. I like to buy crystals off Amazon and books, and if I look around right now, like, everything's from Amazon and I ha I don't care I have Amazon Prime highly recommend side note but yeah so Amazon gift card really great gift Primark gift card I don't know if you guys have a Primark but girl a Primark gift card is super useful uh, Wawa is like a stop and shop sandwich place yes I want Wawa and then if you like to get your nails done or I get my eyelashes done um, you can get a nail gift card and that would be used towards getting your personal you know beauty whatever I think that would be a super great gift and I'm hoping to get one of those gift cards that'd be really awesome 
The next thing I'm asking for is a Himalayan salt lamp and I really just want one of them. I think they're so pretty. If you don't know what they look like, again, I'll put a picture probably of everything, but here's your Himalayan salt lamp. Um, I like that what they stand for. I'll link something about them down below, but I think that it would bring just good energy into my home and I could use all the get good energy I can get right now. So I'm asking for one um, just off Amazon. I think it's like $25. I just think it'd be a really great gift. Again, not something I would really typically buy for myself, but I am hoping that I do get it for Christmas. Alright, so right now that is the extent of my Christmas list. It's not that long, but there's definitely a good variety of things on there. Um, and obviously, like, I will be grateful for anything I get or and gracious for anything I don't get. Um, I have, Like I said, I understand there's a reason for the season, and I also don't want to feel like I'm leaving out holidays. I also wanted to share just like a little snippet about myself. So I am from a mixed marriage um, in the sense that my dad is Jewish and my mom is Christian. So um, we celebrate both. Hanukkah and Christmas and it's just a great time of year full of so much joy and I love giving gifts and receiving gifts and since we do celebrate both holidays it's just like double the presents um, to give as well and to receive so definitely like to give my family members lots of options and if you'd be interested in seeing a gift giving guide that I plan on doing I could probably do that but I'm gonna have to be careful of who I talk about because I know some of some of you guys watch me but yeah definitely could do that that'd be fun so if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and stick around and subscribe that would be the greatest gift of all thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have a great day and an even better week and I'll catch up with you guys later bye